Hey guys, it's the Better Productions, and welcome to a demo video for Phoenix Wright Dual Destinies. All right, let's get this started. So yeah, I already downloaded this in my 3DS Excel, and I decided to play through it. It was amazing, and uh, yeah, uh, this just got released right after the Nintendo Direct announcement, which I was at home for, by the way, because I was at school, but when I got home, I realized there was a Nintendo Direct, so I watched that, and then they said Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies had a demo that would be released, and I got it, it is awesome, let's get this started. It'll probably be a one video series, unless it goes a little longer than I think, then it might be two, so, yeah, let's get this started. Are dark times where the law has been reduced to rubble and it's up to us to restore it to its former glory yeah I know what you mean it looks like your target finally decided to make a move don't you worry I've got a trusty new partner on board with us for half a year, though I can hardly believe it. Anyway, her power will be our greatest weapon. <laughs> Are you all right, miss? <laughs> yeah, it's for this very reason I returned. Time to bring it to an end. December 18, 9.22 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby, number 5. Ugh, these good old pre-trial jitters. It's, it's all coming back to me. 
They never seem to go away, no matter how many times I do this. Mr. Wright! What's the matter? It ain't really quiet there, boss. Huh, I, I have, I was just thinking about t today's trial. And about how I can do with a glass of water right now. I feel like a newbie again. My name is Phoenix Wright. I run what I can be called a law office, I guess. Although, I was forced to take a break from practicing until only recently. This is Athena Sykes. She's a rookie defense attorney that just joined our team. What I lack in experience, I make up for with heart. I have orange juice after a workout and I love to win. She's a force to be reckoned with, no doubt, and she's got the temperament just to match. Setting up a positive mental image before the trial, huh? That's my boss for you. That must be one of your secrets to your success, right? Uh-huh, um, yeah, I guess? Project confidence, like a boss. Mr. Wright, Thena, thank you again for agreeing to help me. This is Juniper Woods. She's our client for this case. She and Athena have been, fit, have been friends since childhood. Don't you worry, Junie. Mr. Wright here will definitely get you acquitted. D do it for me too, Mr. Wright. Apollo! Shouldn't you still be in the hospital? This is Apollo Justice. He's another young defense attorney in my law office. How are your injuries? Are you alright? I'm fine. <laughs> That's not the sound of someone who's feeling fine. A dying cat, maybe? I couldn't laze around the hospital bed, not when I'm one of those victims in this case. That's true, he was one, He was the one at the bench when the bomb went off that day. I actually was, I wanted to serve on the defense myself today. Rest assured, Apollo. Mr. Wright here will make short work of anyone who doubts Junie's innocence. Huh? Oh, uh, <laughs> right, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, of course. <clears throat> She sure knows how to ramp up the pressure on a guy. But well, looks like it's just about that time. Are you ready, Athena? I just hope so, because I don't think I am. Of course. I'm always ready for a good fight. Well, I can do. I can't do much ex except cheer for you on, from the gallery. But you have to win this one. And we will. Los gets. I don't know what that is. Some foreign language. Probably French. Come with me. It's showtime! December 18, 9.46 a.m. District Court. Courtroom number five. Day one. Court is now in session. All rise. The court is now in session for the trial of Juniper Woods. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is also ready, Your Honor. Uh-oh. Now that I'm actually standing here, the butterflies in my stomach are going nuts. Oh, Mr. Wright. It's been a while, but it's been a good to have you back. Uh, thanks. It's good to be back. Quite frankly, I didn't think I would ever see you at the defense bench ever again. But now that you've been reborn, so to speak, let's see how you do here today. Well, I, I think I learned quite a bit during my time away, Your Honor. Throat die, voice cracky. Hope you're ready over there, because it's a whole new Phoenix right on our side. You mean, Phoenix Man Winkle? I doubt I have much to worry about it then in that case. What? Why you? Whatever. Believe what you want. But mark my words, my boss will wipe that smug off of your face in ten minutes or less. Whoa, whoa there, Athena. Let's not make any wild claims, especially not impossible ones. Hmm, a quick verdict might be such a bad thing. There isn't much time in a demo, after all. Hey, mentioned the demo. No, Mr. Payne. Please tell us about the incident, if you would. The incident happened in this very courthouse in courtroom number four. At the time bomb that was presented at the evidence suddenly went off during the trial. I have here the bomb specifications and the police report on the incident of the court. Uh, for the court, whatever. 
And we got the stuffed animal bomb added to the court record. The time bomb that's destroyed in the courtroom was hidden inside a stuffed animal that was de detonated. Bombing incident record added to the court record. The center of the blast was the defense's bench. Fortunately, the courtroom was cl cleared quickly, so there was no deaths. Hmm. If memory serves, if I touch that court records button, or R, to check the evidence. Wait, so what does a push stuffed animal was the bomb? Well, yes and no. The actual bomb was stuffed inside to hide its wires and timer. And it's your claim that it's the defendant who activated this bomb. Exactly. The defense must boast if they can finish faster than a bag of boil and a bag rice. But the prosecution has the decisive evidence of the defendant's crime. And what, pray tell, is this? It appears to be singled. This, your honor, is the tale of a stuffed animal the bomb was in. It apparently called phony faffy or fancy or some such nonsense. And what does that tale have to do with anything? This tail is made of vinyl cloth, and we found something very interesting in surface. The defendant's fingerprints. What?! Now that you see, the evidence clearly proves that the accused had handled the bomb. Hmm. That does appear to be pretty futile evidence. The court accepts this item into evidence. The phony fancy tail had been added to the court record, a piece of the stuffed animal that the bomb was inserted into. The defendant's fingerprints were found on it. <laughs> it looks like the trial may well end, it, it very well end in under 10 minutes, but I'll be the one wiping that smug off your face with a guilty verdict. What are you gonna do, Mr. Wright? Uh, I don't know. This is all thanks to you making that 10 minutes comment. Uh, that's what got us into this mess. Mr. Wright, we'll overlook your private quarrel in just this once, but now, let's move on. Mr. Payne, please call your first witness to the stand. Witness, name your occupation, please. Name, Ted, Tenet. Occupation, Bomb Disposal Specialist. Oh my, what a strange robotic voice you have! <laughs> That's a pretty funny, Judge. Speech synthesis via typing, it is the same as me talking. Hmm, what an odd witness. It is very odd. Mr. Tonnet was in charge of the palm for that trial and there when it went off. Here is to testify about the circumstances surrounding the moment of the explosion. Witness testimony. When the bomb went off. The bomb was originally disarmed by me, then transported here as evidence. The bomb name HH3000 operated by timer with or with a remote. I was watching from the gallery when I suddenly became alarmed. I saw that bomb's timer was counting down. Hmm, the HH3000, so that's the name of the bomb in this thing, huh? Hmm, I want to see one known such a thing if it was hiding inside, if you told me. So even though the bomb was supposed to be disarmed, it somehow got switched on. Precisely, activating the timer is very simple. Even a monkey could do it. I'm sure the defendant would be able to. I see. Well, Mr. Wright, you may now begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination time. This is where the real battle begins. Go get him, boss. Give him that famous Phoenix Wright treatment. Unleash that wild accusations and unbashed bluffing that we all know and love on him. Just you watch. I'll get him. Though it's been years since I've done this. Oh, I hate to admit it, but maybe I should ask Athena for a refresher course. No thanks. I can't ask my subordinate for help on how, the, how to cross-examine it. I just have to wing it. I hope it's riding a bicycle. Your Honor, I'm ready to cross-examine the witness now. When the bomb went off. The bomb was originally disarmed by me and then transported here as evidence. You know what? Okay, so I'm going to go over what you can do here. Either there's press where you ask him more about what he said or present, which means that you can basically contradict what they're saying with, an, with evidence, which usually always helps. But I'm going to be pressing this one right here. What's, what does this microphone do down here? Oh, hold it! Yeah, didn't work. Hold it! It didn't even work. Wow. Um, no. Go back. It didn't work for some reason. Maybe it's not working correctly? I don't know. But let's see, what's this button down here? I really never tested it. Oh, it's just the history of what each character said, so that's pretty nice. 
Okay, so let's press this guy. You can either hit L to press or R with present, so. Hold it! You say that you disarmed the bomb, but are you really sure it was disarmed? Absolutely. I can disarm anything in a flash. Wow, that's pretty impressive. That looks more like dismantle than disarm to me. Oh, oh, pardon me. Heh <laughs> we must know, Mr. Wright, according to the court's own records, the fact that the bomb has indeed been disarmed is officially confirmed. Hmm, I guess that rule out the possibility that he forgot to disarm it. Can you talk about the bomb in a little more detail for the court, Mr. Chonitz? Certainly. He's such a freak. Okay, right, the bomb name, HH-3000 operated by timer with remote. Okay, there's really nothing important there. I was watching from the gallery when I suddenly became alarmed. Okay, let's see. Why were you in the gallery? I was on standby during the trial, but I wanted to keep watching just in case. Even when a bomb has been disarmed, you can never be too careful. Explosive devices are very dangerous things. Hmm, how would moderately irresponsible of you, a model to be emulated? Now then, what, could, what did you witness from the gallery? I saw that bomb's timer counting down. Oh, really? Let's look at our evidence here. You saw it counting down? Where is this stuffed animal? Is there a timer on here? I don't think so. You can hit X with present, or you can touch present on the touch screen. Let's present. OBJECTION! So, you can see the bomb's timer counted down. Is that right? Of course. I clearly saw it counting down to zero. And I say... That you are clearly lying. What are you talking about? There is no way you could have seen the bomb's timer. After all, the bomb was concealed inside a stuffed animal. Mr. Tonnet, how could you claim to know the bomb was about to go off? When you couldn't even see the timer. Well, I, I... Ooh, that was great, Mr. Wright. You found a contradiction right off the bat! Aw, oh, that was nothing. Nothing short of amazing, that is. Alright, I'm gonna start to feel like I'm in the zone here. I can do this. Very impressive, Mr. Wright. I can see the great turnabout terror is back. Oh, this brings back some memories. Now those days were the stuffers of the legends. Now how would you tear through trials and accusations and unbashed buffling, bluffing? Sorry. Oh, that actually doesn't sound like such flattering what is like a flattering legend, Your Honor. Witness, how could you explain the contradiction in your testimony? Well, let me see. I, uh... Oh, yes, yes, of course, I remember now. The sound, I knew it because of the sound. When the timer of this type of bomb is switched on, it makes me a beeping sound. Beep, beep, beep. It is the sound of the countdown. I suppose it'd be possible to notice that, even with the bomb inside the stuffed animal. I simply made a mistake. My bad. What? No way. Why am I not surprised? The prosecution believe it's time to hear from the defendant herself, Your Honor. Very well. Let's show the defendant to the witness stand.